Hi everyone, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Monday, June 13th of the year 2022, and this is going to be floss tube number 81, I believe. <laughs> Could be wrong. Um, but welcome, as always, welcome to everyone. Welcome back to all my current viewers and subscribers, and thank you, as always, for your continuing support, for coming back week after week regardless of how long it's been between videos. <laughs> um, it's very much appreciated. And as always, I want to welcome anyone that's visiting for the first time. I hope that you like what you see, you find a reason to stay, subscribe, and continue to follow me on my stitching journey. Um, I hope that everybody's been, you know, staying safe and sound. I hope that everybody's doing well. Um, everything's good on our end. I'm finally on summer break, <laughs> which is why there was a break, you know, there was a longer break in between videos. Um, it was just finals week and, you know, that, that came, you know, that came first, always, first and foremost. Um, but I'm now officially on summer break. I passed all my classes, which is amazing. That I, I, I took a physics course that was like touch and go there for, you know, the second half of the semester. So very happy to, to have been able to make it and now it's onwards to to cal state university so i'm very very excited and um yeah it's also going to be the first time that i actually have i can actually relax <laughs> over summer break um ever since i started my school in fall 2020 i've taken you know winter session summer session in order to finish faster so this summer will be the first time that I won't be taking the summer classes. St summer classes started today, so um, yeah, I really wouldn't have gotten much of a break. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Excited to stitch as much as, as much as I can in the meantime. I'm excited for next semester as well. So having said that, um, I have a few things to show you today. Um, Again, most of the time I, I was still in school, so I didn't do as much stitching as I would have liked. Um, but then the last couple of like the last couple of weekends have been really busy as well, so I wasn't able to finish or to stitch during the weekends as much anyway. But anyway, um, first thing I want to show you is my Fane Fairy. It's a Heaven Earth Designs piece called Mini Midnight Stroll, and the artist is Julie Fane, hence Fane Fairy. So I have every single intention of finishing this this summer. Again, there's no excuse because I literally have nothing to do. <laughs> I mean, I'll be working. I'm working part time, but uh, but it's also remote. So <laughs> I can stitch while I work. <laughs> um, and the last time that I showed this to you, I was at 59,500 stitches. This is where she's at now. She's sitting at 65,300 stitches, which is just short of 85% on this piece. Um, difference of 5,800 stitches, so almost 6,000 stitches since the last time that I filmed the video. Um, and she's looking amazing. I'm so excited. Like I finally got to her. So I, I was really, really happy. Um, I, I almost didn't mind the confetti. <laughs> uh, but the last time I showed her to you, I was working on the water. So obviously, as you can see, that's, that's nice and done. It's nice, it's just filled in 100%. And then I immediately got to work on, on her and just this entire side. Um, I had to fill in the moon as well. But everything is done on this side too. I have like two two confetti stitches, like somewhere here in the tree. <laughs> um, but yeah, besides that, everything is done on this side. So the little sparkles finally came through. And again, it was all that confetti that made it happen. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm just done with her profile as well. Like you, her face is just a hundred percent outlined. Um, and then, 
um, I just went down. I just went all the way down. I ended up switching out because I normally would work on the, the smaller Q snaps. I think it's like the six inch. And I just went with the 11 by 11. I think it's 11, might, it be, might be 10. But just the bigger one so that I could have most if not all of the body in the frame so I could go ahead and keep working on that outline because most of those confetti stitches would just kind of just go all the way along the lines. So, but yeah, everything is, is finished here. So now I'm just moving on to the other side and same drill, I'll go ahead and just, you know, kind of work my way up. So I just have her wings her wings to go and the rest is just background so yeah very excited <laughs> it finally looks like something <laughs> um so yeah so um hopefully by the end of july i'll have a finish to show you um i think the next video that i film is, is going to be my whip parade that i do in the middle of the of the year um I think I'm gonna do it differently though, um, because I've only worked on a quarter of my projects so far this year, because again, she's taken up 99% of my time. Um, so because of that, I think I'll just, I'll just show you the ones that I have worked on so that you don't get, you know, three quarters of the video saying, no change, here's my piece, no change, here's my piece, no change. Um, so yeah, so I think that's, it's just gonna be a little different this year, but we'll see. <laughs> um, another piece that I've been working on fairly um, regularly is my travel piece. Um, this is Chopper by, well, he goes by Red Max, I guess, on the patterns, but the Etsy shop is called Be Cute Today. Um, this is Chopper from One Piece, the anime that's been around for a while. It just celebrated its 1,000 um, 1, birthday, birthday, or episode, episode, I should say. So um, I'm going to go ahead and probably keep working on him as well a little bit. I might just grab him when I'm, um, where is it? This way. Um, when I'm watching a movie. So that I don't have to look at the pattern anymore. Um, as it is, I haven't worked on him too much. Because again, um, I at the towards the end of the semester, if I did have free time, I would use it to study <laughs> instead of stitch. So he didn't get too much work. I ended up doing a little bit more of the blue, and I outlined the rest of the white spots on the uh, on the hat. So. I think what I'm gonna do next is just um, since I, you know, I'm able to sit down and actually look at the pattern, um, I might just outline the rest of the like the, the other antlers and the rest of the hat, and then keep going on the filling and everything else. So I'm enjoying working on this one. I did ask on my last video. I asked whether or not I should do the background on this one um most of the people said just drop it um which was my thoughts as well there was one person that suggested to do it half stitch which sounds intriguing i might just keep that in the back of my head um so that i can at least have the, the little bit of color um popping in the background um but yeah so that might be a, a possibility as well um, in addition to those two, I actually was able to start uh, my Cinderella piece. I think I may have mentioned in my last video because I've been very excited to start this since I got it. Um, this is Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream. It's part of the Thomas Kincaid Disney Dreams collection that he, that he did quite a few, you know, quite some time ago. These are no longer in print, um, so they're very difficult to find and very expensive when you do find them. Um, so, um, Belinda, um, Aussie stitcher here on, on, on YouTube, FlossTube, she was kind enough to send this my way. It ended up being a team effort <laughs> between her, um, Vic from Stitching, Stitching Button and, um, Laurel 
uh, here on FlossTube as well. So yeah, I finally got to me. This, this, and I was I was ready for it. I had the fabric ready. So <laughs> so I finally sat down and started it. Um, I think I started at the beginning of the month. Um, June, June 1st or June 2nd, one of the two. So, um, and this is, the fabric is a lot larger than the actual design. Um, I wasn't gonna have much, like, it was a lot, but it wasn't going, it wasn't enough to use it for something else. So I was like, all right, I'll just have, you know, a lot of margin on this. I'm doing this on a fabric, fabric flare words, a 60 count, six, oh my God, 36 count white, even weave, even weave fabric. And this is all I have. It's probably like 400 stitches right there. Um, I did start in the middle. I don't know. I don't know if I want to grid because I consider just gridding my way down um, into the corner so I could just start at the corner. But considering that it's um, even we considering that I'm doing this two over two, I didn't want to risk miscounting and you know, there goes the entire piece <laughs> when I grid. So this is um, like a clock tower that's in the middle of the piece. Let's see, it's right here. So this is the little flower bed that I'm doing. And this is like the brown of the rooftop. This is a uh, clock tower. So yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to work this just yet. I'll play around with it, see what I, see what feels, okay. Um, it did come with an 18 count um, uh, Ada, but you know, past experience <laughs> showed me that these have a lot of fraction, uh, fractional stitches, a lot of detailing, a lot of, you know, French knots and what have you. So I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing that again. So I'll just go ahead and um, convert to even weave. And you know, that's made it. I mean, right now I'm just doing the cross stitches. So doesn't matter too much but that'll probably make it a whole lot easier when I do get to those parts um, so yeah so I'll probably keep going on this this month um, it's one of my focus pieces and you know as, as far as new starts go I always try to get at least a thousand stitches done um, on new starts when I first start them so got 400 down 600 more to go so I'll keep working on on them, on her, it. <laughs> um, besides that, another piece that I've been working on a little bit, because I suddenly, you know, once I finished school, it's like, okay, I have to take advantage of all the time I have. So I said I want to finish as much, as many things as I possibly can. So again, um, Fame Fairy is, is first and foremost, but I've also been working on my stacked teacups, my dimensions kit. Um, for this one, I am using the, 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 everything that came in the kit, the materials that came in the kit. And I, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this, to be honest, but I'll make a good crack at it. This is what I have done so far. Um, since the last time I showed this to you, I've been working here at the bottom. So, um, the last time I showed this to you, I had just started on this last teacup that's beige, that's, you know, almost not quite showing. <laughs> um, and I also, I added a little bit more on the background here, the blue background, but most, most of my stitches have gone into the teacup here. So... I think I'll just go ahead and finish the teacup first before, you know, moving back to the background. Um, but yeah, I'll at least use this for my daily 30 piece this week. And then, you know, I'll see how it goes. If I do feel like, like I want to keep going on it and see if I want to finish it, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it as my daily 30. Otherwise I'll just move on to something else. Um, but yeah, that's that's it as far as stitching stitching goes. Um, 
not too many pieces because again midnight fairy midnight fairy midnight stroll <laughs> i took up most of it i did want to show um a little bit of stash by little i mean just one piece <laughs> um so one of the pieces that i do want to start um relatively soon maybe this uh, sometime this year is uh, persephone the mirabilia persephone i am stitching it along with sarah from our stitching kingdom and we are doing a conversion we're doing a color conversion where we're we're changing the tones to blacks and purples so i said okay we're going to be doing blacks and purples i, I was looking for a lavender ish um, looking fabric so i was able to get this which is showing up a lot more gray than it really is there's a lot more of this little lilac color right here just for whatever reason all the grays are just being blown out a lot but i thought this was perfect i got this from sammy over at um the hummingbird stitchery she's well, she's also Sammy J Stitches <laughs> here on Floss Tube, but she's then she's opened up a Facebook group, kind of like a small, really, really small LNS. Um, slowly but surely, you know, she's building her inventory, um, but her daughter is actually taking care of dyeing fabric. So again, uh, starting out small, baby steps, she's still experimenting, um, but I just adored this piece. I loved the way that it came out. So I'm really looking forward to, I think it, it's just going to be perfect, I think, for Persephone, for what we want to do. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I got. Um, so I'll go ahead and put the information for the Facebook group down below. Uh, you can, there's um, wish list posts where you can say, oh, I would like this pattern from this designer. Um, the, not so much for, for fabric yet, because again, I'm still in the in the beginning stages, so it kind of it's kind of like a you know one off. Here's where you get, and that's it. <laughs> um, but some of those some of the color combinations are really really cool. So again, I'll put the, the information down below. Um, but yeah, that's been that's really been it for me. Um, as I mentioned, the weekends have just been even. You know, once I finished school, weekends have been really busy. Um, I was able to actually meet up with Sarah from Our Stitching Kingdom and Laurel. Um, Laurel, Laurel. Uh, Laurel is local. Sarah was the one that came down from Utah. So we all um, we all met up at Disney because that was the purpose of the of the trip. Was she had a little vacation with her family, so. Uh, we met up with her on her last day here and we met up for, for lunch at Downtown Disney, which is amazing. It's just one of those things where you finally get to meet somebody that you only know virtually. <laughs> so that was wonderful. And uh, this past weekend, and the reason why I wasn't able to upload a video, um, I actually went to Disneyland myself for the first time since it closed down. Um, I went with my friends for our birthday bash, we like to call it, because <laughs> we all have we all have birthdays during the summer so we still kind of celebrated everybody's birthday all at once um and that was on saturday that we that we went so it was pretty good kind of fun um i don't know when i'll be going back but it was fun while it lasted <laughs> i was very excited to be back uh but yeah so that's all i have to share with you today um, as always, if you have any questions about anything you saw here, you're more than welcome to leave a comment um, down below. As always, links will be posted in case you are interested in any of the patterns that I showed. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a productive week as always. And you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy. Until next time, ciao!